Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about a franchise that is pretty much the poster boy for game series that should be killed off. Sonic. Sonic initially started out as a good game series that was actually relevant in the Super Nintendo era, but over many games, Sonic degenerated from being a series that was that Mario killer all the way into garbage. The game that would be brought up every time random bloggers would make a list about how the top 10 game franchises that should have died. And while many of them have come and go, Sonic is always consistent. And the game before this, Sonic 06, was everything wrong with the series in a game. From the terrible camera, to the Sonic's random recolor friends being used uh, to death, to the cliche cringeworthy plot, which which climaxed with a hedge with no no no, it climaxed with a girl who's human kissing Sonic's body when he's dead, and also some creepy love interests too between them, and Eggman who looked creepy. In other words, the game before this was everything wrong with this series. So what happened? Sega decided to make a game that would supposedly save Sonic. This was supposed to be the game that would save Sonic from terrible critical reviews, sales which even though they were selling 2 million would eventually end up in bargain bins after the game was done selling and wouldn't be a constant seller. And of course, it was supposed to make Sonic relevant again. This game didn't do either and came off as a total joke. In development since 2007, when a Sega employee who was later fired posted about how the next Sonic game would involve a transforming evil dead Sonic and how Sonic Team was overworked and was just being used to milk Sonic games, the game was full of hype and people predicted it would save Sonic like I said earlier. It was released in two versions, the Wii version and the 360 version. I've already reviewed the Wii slash PS2 version and it was terrible, but today I'm going to touch on the 360 version, a version I've never played or ever touched until now. What you are about to see is my honest opinions on this game which I am just playing for the first time and is filled with no bias from people saying it's the worst game ever. So let's just start off the review by talking about the game. One of the first things you'll notice is that this game was well polished. Compared to the Wii version and PS2 version, you can see this is where they intended to go with the game. And I'm currently playing on the Xbox 360, but this game's available on the PS3 as well. But anyways, let's start the game off by telling you this game, as you can tell, had a ton of polish. Especially when compared to the Wii and PS2 versions. Sure, the graphics might have been alright for them, but the graphics really shine in this version. You can also tell by the opening CGI, they sank a ton of money into this game. Too bad, just like Sonic 06, this continues the tradition of having corny plots and games where most of the budget was blown on the CGI. I've already mentioned the CGI in my other video, but I'll just repeat the story. The story is basically Eggman is trying to, like, build some spaceship for the 4 millionth time, Sonic attacks for the 4 millionth time, goes supersonic, Eggman drains the power from the Chaos Emeralds, and next thing you know, everybody's screwed and the world blows up into pieces, Sonic has to put them back together, there's some stupid chip character and pretty much Sonic turns into a weird hog. Yes, what were they thinking? But I've pretty much already mentioned that this whole concept was stupid and like some website interview said, which has sadly been lost to time, if somebody has a link, I'd appreciate it. But basically, this was added for padding on, because just like with other games, Sega wanted to keep the disc in tray as long as possible, and that's pretty much the motto with game development. 
And the problem with this game was, this, they pretty much added the Weird Hog levels to pad out. Which is a shame considering how well the game is polished. However, looking at gameplay won't reveal this, but the controls are clunky. I'm not even kidding. When I say the controls are clunky, I mean they're clunky. Despite the fact that the graphics are pretty amazing, especially considering this game came out in 09, the controls are terrible. Now, this isn't as evident when you're just holding up, but when you're, I mean, when you're boosting to win, but as soon as you go into the weird hog levels, you, you can just see how broken the engine is. When you're boosting a win though, it's not much of a problem considering the only direction you can go is forward. Now, I'm just going to say this. The controls are clunky. Sure, it doesn't matter if you memorize the levels to be a speedrunner. That doesn't change the fact that despite all the polish put into this, which is also a shame considering this game's got some pretty good music compared to the Crush 40 music used in, say, Sonic Adventure 2, you have, well, you realize this game was just, they put all the polish into it, and yet the game just blows. And now for the bad part. The first bad part is that the hub worlds are back. Yes, that's right. One of the most hated features of Sonic 06 is back. Unlike the PS2 version, there's also some XP system which comes off as tacked on. It's like they wanted to try to boost replay value with gimmicks instead of making a game that you'd be replaying. Of course, it doesn't matter considering this game wasn't that great and not long after it came out and it ended up in bargain bins. The hub worlds consist of you running around and talking to people. While the graphics look alright in the daytime levels, you still have- you can't get over the fact that the gameplay is boring. But, that's far from the biggest problem with this game. One of the biggest problems of the game was the Weird Hog levels. You could tell that the people who made them didn't give a sh- too busy trying to make them tack on the gameplay to please the higher-ups at Sega who just wanted to milk a game out so that the people who fund, who spend $60 every other year or every year to fund this can keep doing it and say Sonic is longer than this insert other game here despite the fact that I'd rather play a 5 hour game of boosting to win than a 20 hour game of Weir Hog levels and let me tell you the Weir Hog levels suck. While the daytime levels were pretty much boost to win, didn't take much time, run for quick time events, the Weir Hog levels are much worse. You see, while the daytime levels might have been meh, the Weir Hog levels are garbage. The Weir Hog levels are plain and simple garbage. Simply put, people sometimes will defend this by saying, it's amazing. This is basically the epitome of boring. Basically, you run around as Sonic the Weird Hog and basically bash <laughs> Literally, you only need one button to beat these levels. The X button. Literally, that's all you do. Not only do the graphics look worse, like there's less polish in these levels, but you can tell that the game wasn't optimized because as soon as 400 enemies appear on screen, the frame rate just sags. I mean, this all the time in these Weird Hog levels, you'll just be running around, running around, beating these stupid things, and then sag, 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 because the frame rate will just dip. It's like the game can't, the engine wasn't just designed for going forward and not designed for Weird Hogs. Like, when you have a ton of enemies on screen, you'll just notice the game just chugs. It might not be as visible on camera, but it does this all the time. It's like, literally, the game wasn't even designed for it. And there are other annoyances, too. If you bash an enemy over and over in the rerog, even after you've killed it, it'll just keep going and going and going. You won't know it's dead until you wait like 5 seconds and let it die out. 
I'm not even kidding. It does this all the time, and it's annoying. Look, this it just did it just now. Maybe it's not as annoying when you see it on camera, but if you're actually playing this, it'll be really annoying when you're trying to do this. In other words, the Weirog levels are just a big annoyance. To make matters worse, you have to play these Weirog levels. Now, I've heard people saying you can get through them, but the first one is already enough for you to know that they're pretty annoying. And you know what, in the end, even if you got rid of the Weirog levels, you've still got other problems such as the daytime levels being boost to win with laggy controls. In other words, this game just isn't that great. This game is pretty much a sign that the Sonic franchise is screwed up beyond repair. Not even Bioware, a well-known developer with, a, with tons of good games in their past, could make a good Sonic game. And when that happens, you know a franchise is beyond repair. In other words, only buy this game if you have a friend and you want to torture him painfully without getting a laugh. Uh, well, you get more laughs by buying Sonic 06, honestly. This game is boring. Literally. I, I mean, seriously. Just look at how the frame rate just chugs. But about the gameplay, the controls are laggy. The only really good thing is the music, and that's about it, really. Please save your money and get better games. This game is just a waste of money. You'd be better off getting the $10 this game is worth used and setting that on fire. I mean, and, and that's just an analogy that would be better than buying it and wasting your money on this game because this game is just a gigantic bore. And everything wrong with the Sonic franchise after Sonic 06. They put it in a new direction, and it wasn't even a good direction, because now it's going to crap. There's still gimmicks such as Sonic Colors and Lost Worlds' as Wisps, or Sonic Generations' as classic Sonic theme for you-know-who, I don't even need to say. In other words, this game and the Sonic franchise in general aren't that great. Please, save your money and go play better games. There are better platformers out there, even in the same genre. Sonic's not even that good. All in all, thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more. And another thing, please, if you really want a franchise to succeed, don't buy every single game with the franchise logo on it, because that's just enabling it to continue going downhill. Just look at how stuff like Tony Hawk happened, or Need for Speed. People kept buying those games, they went downhill, and it was only until too late that they really went down the gutter. At least Need for Speed got saved in the end, but Tony Hawk, I'm not so sure.